guys, this is Amy's Toy Trove. It is the Tuesday after Briar Fest. Um, I came home on Monday, so I actually left Monday morning um, at 4 a.m. from Lexington, and I arrived into Crescent City around 7.30 last night. Uh, I was not able to fit all of the Briar Fest loot into the car, um, so some of it was shipped, and then I had two suitcases come back with us. And in the two suitcases were um, some of the Briarfest models that I have not opened yet, so I thought I would open them in a video. That'd be kind of fun. Um, and this here is one of the plushies from the Bazaar store. His name is Lotus. He's a super duper cute little uh, plushie pony. Um, something to note, um, the plushies were $18 this year, which I think is quite a bit more than they were last year. But to me, they look a lot more intricate. Like this one has... Um, Quite a bit of embroidery on it and I love the black and the pink and I actually I picked these up at cost for a friend and I'm kind of wishing that I had gotten more because um, they're really nice so that was Lotus oh and they're individually numbered on the bottom of this foot so this one happens to be number 61 to 750 and that's Lotus and along the plushy front they also had this adorable um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's Japer or Jiper or J-A-I-P-U-R. He's an adorable little elephant. Uh, he also has quite a bit of embroidery and decoration on him. He was also $18. Um, and he's a pretty good size. Really cute. Um, again, I'm kind of re regretting not buying more plushies because I think this is something I would kind of like to hang on to, but that's okay. Um, these are going to some a great home with uh, some grandkids who will enjoy them very much. This is another one. Um, the other thing that I did was I sprinkled my bag with some of the uh, Bazaar Special. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. This is the, the stablemate Navia or Navia. Uh, it is spelled N-A-V-Y-A. This is the clear decorator on the Django mold. Um, and it is the only the second color to be released. And from what I could see in at Briarfest and in photos, this one's really super duper fantastic. Um, I bought some, don't don't kill me guys, but I bought a number of these to be bodies since the mold itself is so wonderful and Django is so expensive. Um, I, I think that they sold out of the run of, I don't know what it was, 750 maybe? Um, but I did not pull these guys until the very end um, because I wanted everyone to be able to get uh, this Navia stablemate if it was something that they wanted in their collection and honestly I spent a lot of time in the tent lines and I didn't want to go through a zillion times these were limited to one um, purchase per line and uh, I just didn't have it in me to keep going through the line over and over but this little lovely um, I think it's going to be just fantastic. So this mold is the Frisian, sculpted by Josie Vingerling. Uh, she is a clearware decorator, or he is a clearware decorator, uh, slightly tinted green with some pink, pinkish purple. Um, and then the awesome little flower-like marking. Um, now, this is typical of a translucent. You can see in the middle of his belly, he has a really big air bubble, but that's completely normal on a translucent model. Uh, it doesn't bother me, but just of note to some of you here, I'll point to it with my finger so you can see. He's really gorgeous. Oh, love him. I think I might actually feel really guilty about having one of these customized. So we'll see. Um, maybe I'll just have to wait for a regular run to come out because gosh gall, that's a really nice horse right there. Um, I'm going to maybe not open all of these because these are the same. I'm going to set them aside. And then this uh, other stack of clear bags. This is um, all Bahana. Um, and I chose Bahana um, to bring home because um, it's the new draft horse mold and she has really thick legs. And I don't, I think she'd be one of the harder models to break. So I thought that uh, she would travel the safest um, by airplane opposed to the other molds. Like Kaylee has thin, thin legs and um, well, the Samba, not Samba, I'm still in last year mode. The Bollywood Surprise has thinner legs, and I just was hoping that this draft horse would hold up to the rigors of being tossed around the airport for 24 hours. So we'll see. Uh, so this is Bahana, uh, number 711261. 
and um, she is on the Briar Shannon Dell mold, which was released recently for the Premier Club just last year. And was sculpted by Karen Garhart. She comes in two man and tail variations. Uh, one is a loose man and tail, and one is a braided man and tail. And I believe that this particular model, Vahana, for Briar Fest, has the uh, braided man and tail, or the braided mane, which has the bobs on the top. Very pretty. Um, for my Shannon Dell, I chose uh, the loose mane. So this will be a nice variation. I do intend to keep one for myself. One of the things I noticed this year, um, the models are actually wrapped a bit differently as in how the bubble wrap is folded over them. We had a lot of models to go through last year from Briarfest and they were wrapped differently. And um, I kind of actually mastered getting all of those models wrapped up after inspection last year. And then I was kind of thrown for a loop this year when I opened them and surprise, the bubble wrap is wrapped in a totally different way. Although it's actually easier, it's just kind of hard for me to get through my head that uh, they're not being wrapped in the same way. Here she is, beautiful, beautiful, blue roan, um, or bay roan, pinto. You see this one um, has a little bit of extra uh, white roaning and a teeny weeny black, kind of darker mark on the belly there. Um, so that's um, kind of like one of the flaws that you'll see on this roan, nothing big. I mean, that's not major. She has uh, purple and silver ribbons in her tail. Um, her head was nicely wrapped. Um, she also has silver bobs and purple bobs. Really pretty. Now behind me, what you can't see is my little screaming bird and um, the packing I'm trying to keep all together so I can get this all packaged back together uh, neatly. This yellow light that I'm seeing, um, I think that's the sun actually going down, so it's not optimal time to be making a video, and I do apologize for that. Uh, let's see here. It looks like um, I was going to say she has some um, mismatch, not mismatch, but a little bit of sloppy paintwork on the top of her bobs. But actually, um, this spot right here might be a little bit of extra paint, but. Uh, the majority of it, I think, is just the paint coming over onto the other side like you would see with the ribbons. So this is a really, really, really gorgeous Vahana. Um, she was one of our mo most popular pre-sales, and this was one of the few models that I saw sell out in the tent line, aside from um, the Bollywood Surprise. Now, this one we do have some extras of, and um, I apologize for all the noise. That's my little bird, and I took her out, and I just, like snuggled her for an hour and then my cat is being obnoxious and making noise in the litter box over there so welcome to my house guys the chaos of my house so i thought maybe it would be fun just to open a second bahana for compare and contrast again these are just the bahanas they only came in matte they did not come in matte and glossy the uh, indu and the saffron came in matte and glossy but bahana only came in matte and i'm going to go ahead and open up a second one just to compare and contrast and uh, we do inspect our models before shipping them back out to customers uh, to make sure everything's in good shape. This year we did not have time to um, hand inspect every model at Briarfest. We were running on a skeleton crew, so it was really um, kind of stressful, uh, especially with trying to get back to room sales. And next year, I don't know, we might not offer pickups at all. And, and it's nothing to do with customers. I love you customers, but Briar's making it harder and harder to do pickups. And um, they're so time consuming that I just, I didn't get to see anything in the park. You know what? I didn't even get to see Nazareth in the Celebration Horse. I didn't get to see anything, uh, which was really a bummer because I really, really, really wanted to see uh, Fantasea and Gazusa, the Andalusians, because I am an absolute Andalusian nut. And uh, they were Andalusians and they were there and they did performances and they had signings and I did not get to see them. So I'm really, really sad. So next year might be more of a focus on room sales and. Um, Briar Fest events because the more we've ramped up as a uh, company, the less and less that we've had time to do anything fun at Briar Fest. We did not even get to go to the celebration show, which I tried really, really hard to make time for um, my son, who was a super, super awesome sport. Um, he drove 2,500 miles in the car with husby, hubby. Um, maybe it was a little less than 2,500 miles, but it was uh, like a 37 hour drive. And that was something that I wanted to do for him, to make sure he got to that show, but we were so pressed for time. So, um, I don't know. If you guys can think of anything, like, maybe um, of, of some way that we could acquire 
some extra hands at Briarfest in the future, let me know. Because that would be super helpful. Um, this one, he also appears to be pretty nice. Um, flaw wise i'm just pointing this out because this is probably going to be the typical flaws you're going to see in the run he's got a little she has a little black dot on her right barrel and she has uh some shiny spots on the top of her rump and i see um some shiny on the inside of her shoulder or armpit area which i think again is going to be normal it may wash off it may be a mark from the masking i don't know um she's cute i really like this one on um, this and again this was one of the first um, to sell out in the lines and we do have extra Bahamas um, I'm not going to open those other ones because they're exactly the same and I want to make sure that I get these wrapped up before uh, I start making a huge gigantic mess which is you know I'm queen of gigantic mess so now we're going to move on to the Bollywood surprise uh, let me move these guys over here so they don't get knocked over the Bollywood surprise was on the Latigo or the Harley mold and he came in let's see here Dapple Boxkin, Bay Tobiano, Pinto Chestnut Over, or Pinto, and uh, Pinto Lisa. They came in both a matte and a glossy finish. Uh, um, ours, I actually have not opened yet, so I do not know who we have. It'll be a surprise to me. So this is the very first time that um, these Bollywood surprises are being opened by me. Now, again, this year, as to note, um, the bags were not heat sealed. The bags for the Bollywood surprise was simply taped like the other um, Briar Fest special runs. And this is one of the reasons that we don't offer pickups for this surprise model because there's been too much unhappiness um, with the, uh, the bags not being sealed. So even though um, we are super, super honest and um, we're very uh, forthcoming about what, what's in the, you know, what's being offered with the pickup and um, randomly shipping those models for you, uh, we don't feel comfortable pre-selling something that uh is not sealed because we just we can't prove to you that hey this model was indeed you know um sealed up in the bag and this is the color that came out so um one of the things that i noticed with this is he has a plastic brace on this side which kind of got me a little excited because um i think hey look it's glossy but really see that shininess right here that's the plastic brace um and they all have that so um don't get like totally totally uh, like too excited if you look at this side with the brace and say hey glossy because this one is indeed a matte this one and it, whoops sorry guy is a chestnut pinto and he has really gorgeous running all over his body um i was kind of wondering what people were talking about when they said that he had the the um the gray running on his body and now i see so i'm going to get him out of this plastic brace and show him to you this is a really gorgeous color um actually when i just pulled this guy out i thought he had a big goober on his right flank um, but it wiped right off along uh, the lines of flaws uh, we do inspect for major flaws we will not um, sell anything in a multi-quantity as a uh, live show quality model so please do keep that in mind if you purchase from us from a multi-quantity listing we will not guarantee live show quality we will have inspected the model and we guarantee against what we consider to be major flaws but something like a goober in the finish or an ear tip rub or shiny mark we're not going to consider as a major flaw because it's just um, part of the quality that comes from Briar. I'm trying to get this little uh, zip tie through. There we go. Plastic brace and get this guy out PVC because he is really gorgeous. Uh, he has silver on the bottom of his shoes and he also has bubble wrap on his head and around his tail. Trying to keep uh, this packing together, including the zip ties, because we try to ensure, and, um, and as far as I know, we have always made sure that our customers received all of the original packaging with uh, these models when they are sold as such. He has a slight pearlescent sheen on the uh, the lighter yellow or the tan of his tail. Very gorgeous. I think they did a really super awesome job on this one's color. A couple of people commented that the color reminded them of the, um, the Q or the Quell surprise from last year on the Lonesome Glory Mold. Uh, and his chestnut is a bit similar in color, but this roning really makes it a lot different. Uh, possible flaw front is um, this tiny little mark on his shoulder, but that could just be a spot or roning. I don't know. I don't consider that to be major. And then, whoop, that little goober just appeared again, and I just like wiped it off again. So he is very gorgeous. Gosh, he's gorgeous. He has uh, two blue eyes. 
a very intricate pattern. Um, there's a little bit of smudging on his markings, not too bad. Honestly, I think he is just gorgeous. So if I hold him up here, you guys can see the little teeny weeny white flecks. And gosh, well, that, sorry, that bird's just not going to stop yelling at me until I put her to bed. Right now she's fighting with um, her bell. You can hear her ding, 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 ding. I'm playing with her bell. So this is a gorgeous matte chestnut of Vero Bollywood Surprise on the Harley mold. Briar will not uh, release the color breakdown on the Bollywood Surprise, probably for another week or two. So right now, no one really knows what the rare one is. Um, I have heard, uh, a lot of people seem to think that it is the, uh, the Pintalusa. Um, and I would, I would agree that, um, I saw fewer Pintalusas than the other colors, but you know, it's hard to know what people have out and have reported having found. But that would be my guess. I'm curious to hear your guess, what you think the rare Bollywood surprise color is. Again, these are the two or the two very first Bollywood surprises that we have opened. These will be listed for sale. And they will go to eBay and our website. We're hoping to move transition um, and then eBay to our website. And we have some very exciting news on some product that will be carried on our website. Uh, I can't announce it quite yet, but we have a brand new product that will be offered on our website. And I'm super, super duper excited about it. Okay, so this one, don't get fooled by the offside. This one is a matte. This is the Bay Tobiano Pinto uh, from the numbers that have been coming out reportedly of people having received their different colored Bollywood surprises. This is the one of the more common colors. Uh, and I have seen a lot of people offering this one for sale, so I would tend to agree with uh, the consensus that this is one of the more common colors. And this is a matte finish. Uh, he has a really nice brown color with shading. Chocolatey. I'll uh, show him off to you in just a minute. Uh, I kind of have a hate relationship with these uh, zip ties, but these are so, so much easier than dealing with Briar's old um, flat plastic zip ties. I don't know how many of you have been collecting for um, long enough to know what I'm talking about, but the, the clearer, whiter zip ties that, were, um, that didn't twist off and had to be cut with nail clippers. That's what I'm talking about. I hated those ties, and these ties are much easier to work with. It's just, they take time, and I, um, I try really hard to make sure that when I pull the tie off, I don't scrape it against the model and make a shiny mark. So this is a very time-consuming thing um, for the surprise models being uh, packaged as they are, because that will mean that I have to take the uh, ties off everyone and inspect every one of them. Pretty, pretty Harley. Put your packing over here so I don't lose it. Uh, again, I wrapped the mane and, and um, the head on this one to ensure um, that they came through in good condition, and they did seem to come through in good condition. Everything I've opened so far has been good. Mm, survived the airline, so not too shabby on packaging wise. You know, she has a beautiful, or he, what are you, Harley? You're a he has a gorgeous lighter shading on his flank here. Um, I haven't really seen any others in person, so I don't know if this is typical of the shading, but I am willing to assume that it is along with some other variations. I'm sure there are quite a few color variations, but beautiful shading. Uh, this is another, uh, another flaw that I would consider typical. There's a tiny little scratch on the brown above the left eye. Um, that's not something that would be considered major. So for all you live showers, um, please remember that uh, when you're buying from a multi-quantity listing from us, those are perhaps some of the flaws that you should um, expect will be on the models. Now, if you had a huge glaring rub on, say, his barrel, that would not be sold as a part of the multi-quantity listing. That would be listed as a, uh, a flawed model and would have a listing of its own detailing, either that it was a flawed model or as an individual listing so that you could see exactly what you're getting. Uh, we do try to pull some individual models um, as well so that you can see exactly what you're getting. And these are usually at a higher price because I have to take pictures of the exact model and breakdown as condition for you. Um, but we do try to do that with um, some of the extras that we have just so you can know exactly what you're buying. Overall, wow, these are really gorgeous. This guy, I just noticed he has one brown eye and one 
blue eye. Very pretty. Um, and they're signed Briar, Briar Fest 2017 on the underbelly. Again, these are the models that were in my suitcase along with my clothes, my stinky clothes. I need to do laundry. Um, but don't worry, these guys don't smell. These are really pretty. I'm really impressed with um, the wonderful selection of that Briar had uh, with the Briar Fest special runs. I wish that we had had more room. We ended up shipping home two or three boxes plus the models that I took on the plane because I would have loved to have picked up some extras at Briar Fest this year. And we do have extras, just not quite as many as I would have liked. Like, um, um, I think it, Saffron and the Cow were a little less popular than some of the others and there were a lot left in the leftovers line. And I. Um, didn't really get to get any extras of those because we just were so crunched for room. And this is Vahana. Totally gorgeous. And me, the custom and collector in me, is just thinking, oh my gosh, there are so many possibilities for this mold for custom. And I have seen like some awesome, awesome customs come out of this. And I just makes me think, oh, I can use this as a body. But yet, oh, he is so gorgeous. That seems like it would be a shame. So, um, here we have the uh, the two Bollywood surprises, the chestnut pinto, the bay pinto, and we have a Vahana, who again, he only came in matte, did not come in glossy like uh, saffron and indu. And um, I do not have saffron and indu that came out of this suitcase, though we do have them, uh, but a very limited number. And then we have beautiful Navia, the stable meat. And then we have the two plushies, who I think I put back in bags that I need. That this was uh, Japer or Jupiter, the pink elephants. And then we have, where's the little black cutie? Where are you, black cutie? Here you are. And Lotus. Beautiful, beautiful plushies. Okay, and again, this was just the first suitcase. So tomorrow I will hopefully have a video made for of the second suitcase. And then um, when Hubby gets home with the rest of the horses, there are a whole, whole ton of horses. Um, like, I don't even know how many horses. I can't even begin to guess, so I'm not even going to try to uh, shout out that number at you because I really don't know. But there's just a lot of them. Um, all of our pickups were not successful. We got all the models on everybody's um, list, so d do not worry. We, If you had a pickup with us, we got your model or models. Uh, Hubby will be home on Friday. Um, like I said, the majority of our Briar Fest merchandise was uh, driven back by a wonderful, awesome hubby. And so it won't ship until next week because I only have these models on me and that's all I could even possibly ship and most of the orders are combined. So um, I might be able to ship an order or two for if somebody had an individual model on the pre-sale, but not if they included any of the models that are um, currently in the minivan with hubby. Okay, wow, this was a really super long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, I'd love to hear what uh, you guys have to think about or have to say about this year's special runs. And I wanted to say super duper thank you to everyone who came up and introduced themselves to us. That was so fun. Um, I even had a lot of fun signing someone's box on a very special horse. So hopefully we'll be a little more visible next year and we'll be hopefully we'll be able to attend the Instagram meet and some other cool stuff like that. And hopefully we won't be running on a skeleton crew. So uh, thanks so much for watching guys.